All right, people. Welcome back. More D&D commentary. So we are joined by Mal. What's up, people? And uh, as you can clearly see, we have something different. Not one of the top three decks, but Magic Specters. All right. So we have... Hey. We have Yeet. (laughs) (laughs) Yo, Yeet. That's the team. His name is Hero. Uh, 1403. I have no idea what his his image is. And uh, (laughs) damn. Damn. Damn, Yeet. Damn. Okay. And I guess South Sea Danny already uh, South Sea Dan already got the first one. They yeah, call this man Dirty Dan. <laughs> Damn, hit him with that magic factors though. It was over. Like yeet, what do you play? Like, did you just open up so garbage that you're just like scoop? Or did you not think that you could come back and you didn't want to reveal your deck? I wonder how Cosmos do against magic specters. Uh okay. I'd say okay. Oh, okay. Because uh of course there a lot of their stuff is tr- uh targeting. Yeah. The trap cards and that whole uh, solemn s card. It doesn't target, but they still float. So, right. So, I mean, it's like they have like six solemn strikes. So it's pretty powerful. Uh, my big problem with uh, magic specters, and I was actually uh, confronted a guy at Utah Regionals about this, is that pure magic specters suck. Yeah, definitely. There's no such thing as fucking pure magic specters. This man was trying to play pure magic specters. I was like, you need to, you need to play a different pendulum engine. Because you don't want your magic specters to be in your pendulum zone. That that's bad. Unless you're playing that uh comp- continuous trap, which allows them not your spells and traps to not be negated, or like monster effects, effects of magic specter cards to be negated. Oh, the trap card. Yeah. But just you know, like play a different engine. I don't care if you want to play, you know, the magicians or performer pals, whatever. You know, it doesn't matter. The point is, is that you don't want the magic specters that you want to normal summon and get your search. To be in your pendulum scales where they have no effect at all. It can search itself. You know, it, 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 uh, hello? <laughs> well, thank you. Uh, I'm glad that my PC has been optimized. <laughs> oh, nice. Yeah, I fucking pop up game. It's like, hey, your PC's been optimized. Like, oh, thanks, I guess. I'm kind of busy, but. Uh, <laughs> Damn. Oh. Yep. Hit this man with the master oh. trick, though. <sighs> so, do you tribute? Yeah, you do. You do. Yeah, you do tribute. Tribute one wind spellcaster runs there. I mean, especially with the the magician engines play that triple oaf dragon because of course oaf dragon is yeah. a wind spellcaster. So synergy, but you know the deck. It's just you can't do pure. It's it's not it's, con- it's not consistent enough. And uh, that background weight shit. You just need something else to your pendulum scales. <laughs> so um, that master strict though. I mean, it's just definitely gonna turn around. Oh, hit this man with the twin twister. Get the rid of the re- yeah, he doesn't even it's not it. like he needs Oh, oh damn, gem. magic drain. And I see uh, Bumkaboo is going back up in price, I see. He, he went down for a little while and he doesn't even play. So you're going to pitch another spell or are you just going to go ahead and, and say forget it? Because, I mean, with the protection, it seems like that, that card. Okay. Like I said, that other card might be like a Solemn Strike or something. But no, okay. What are you playing? Yeet? I'm, I'm thinking he's playing PK Fire. And he just didn't open up with some rank 3 shenanigans because that deck pretty much has to open up dante don yeah. it's literally just dante 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 the quicker and faster and more dantes they open up with the better they do but without going off and going first turn dante they're really lacking well pk fire is definitely gonna struggle against this deck mm-hmm. if they don't use their uh, f0 then it's kind of fucked kirin kind of makes this deck look like shit though pendulum scale setting setting cool Pendulum one? Oh no! Nope. Oh, on pendulum oh, scale kid, set. Hey, with well. another twin twister. Nah, yep, and yep, I was right. It was, or at least pure burning mist. But maybe PK fire. It all depends. So get rid of that eccentric and get rid of that set card. All yep. Right. I'm fine with that. Oh. Yep, I thought it was gonna be a solemn with that protection. All right. Lex is gonna be mad at you. We predict the future again. <laughs> 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 but the problem, Yeet, right now is that I mean. You got like no monster. I'm assuming that set monster is a Skarm or yeah, a Graph. And again, he said like buns, so I'm not sure. I mean, that is kind of risky, uh, Saucy. I kind of would have went after oh, him. All yep. Right. Yep, and here we go. So it's definitely. No, no, actually, I still can't say that because I've, I've seen some B- pure BA running the speedrunner just because it's so powerful. It's literally a Dante without even your cost of your normal summon. Your special summon, uh, Terra Top. Surf with Taco Tom work, especially some Taco Tom work. Bam, this is Dante. Yep. It's getting kind of ridiculous how Dante is turning into like this this uh, enabler. Like That's he's not he's, he's not even the strength of Dante anymore. It's literally just an enabler. 
it's actually kind of sad at this point. It's like, it's like, it's like Lavalvel Chain in a sense. It's like, it's like, yeah, Oops, Doctor. Sorry. Damn. Sir, sir, yeah. I mean, yeah, sir, but whatever you summon is automatically going to die. Yeah, um, yeah, like, never mind. I guess you can... Oh, I would have summoned... Oh, Skarm. Is there anything for Sir to summon? Oh. Oh. Was it Farfa, I guess? Oh, yeah. Right, I forgot that that's not... Yeah, that's not Damn. Grimes, that's Sir, so... Yeah, that's not... That's not, uh, Cag, not Damn. Okay. Oh, yeah, I'll look the same. I don't know what your set monster is. I'm racist. <laughs> but, uh... You know, he's just becoming more of an enabler for rank three plays. Even in OCG, I mean, they hit Dante to one, and I mean, still, he's just a like Lavalvo Chain is like an extra deck, foolish burial. Then Dante yes. is an extra deck card trooper. Yeah. And when you get it to the point where he's not being the boss monster of BAs, but just a mill engine, especially with three, it's starting to get a little bit ridiculous. Like, of course, the BA BAs need to get hit anyway, but it's starting to get to the point where Dante is the one that needs to get hit. Do you think they should really, like, kill Dante? Yes. Like, oh, you really think they should I just ban think Dante? Dante? Well, not ban. Maybe oh, I'm about to say, like, dude, that deck ain't doing shit. Yeah, I'll take one. Let me in. Yeah, I'm fine with it. They'll still, like, find a way. Two Dante doesn't really help, because no. Dante just replaced Dante. Yeah, uh, you, you bust out that first turn, two Dantes, mill six cards, and then replace each other, float off your Burning Abyss and Fantasy plays, like... I believe PK Fire is still the best deck in OCG, and they only have one Dante, so I don't know. It's going to have to be a, a conglomerate group. That's because they still have, like, three Cagna and three Sir, so you can use the Sir to get back to Dante. You still go into their Beatrice plays. They're just not playing three Beatrice anymore. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they just hit Skarm to one and Dante to one. They still have three Sir and three Graph, so maybe... I think they also hit Tour Guide, too. Yeah, they hit Tour Guide as well. So okay. maybe we need a collective effort. Maybe we, I don't mean, I don't want to say it, but do we have to go one Skarm, one Graf, one Sir, one Dante? <laughs> like, <laughs> like, just one of each of the good Burning Abyss, and you could just play a fucking clusterfuck of all the bad ones. Well, not as good ones. Oh, Fortune Zone. Because Farfa's pretty good, too. Yeah. All right. So, actually, those two into a Fortune Tune, like I guess. Damn, the, the fact that he can't tribute is really fucked him over. Nah, that's, that's what I'm saying. Like, it's just risky to play this deck when Monarchs are, like, uh, one of the top decks. You already know it. Everybody in the Mother is siding in Triple Master Strict. Yep. So, going with Magic Specters and just getting hit with a casualty isn't the greatest plan right now. Mm hmm. So, go ahead and mill another three. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah, there's that, uh, there's that Graph. Graph, I'm assuming, summon Skarm. XC into another Dante Detach Scar, mill another three, get to her guy during the end phase. And he also milled the boots. Yep, and he milled the boots. Like, oh, damn. Okay. Sir. I guess. Yeah. She's gonna bring back with Sir. Oh, she's wow. gonna remove the, um. Gonna detach the Farfa so you can remove the. Yeah, I think that's my view. Now he's gonna go in for the attack for right now. Wait, why? To rip them attachments? Oh, never mind. I thought you were going to Yeah, that's what I was going to like, just go into Farfra so you can re rip the attachments that way. Uh. Or no. No. You can't do that. You can't? No. What you do? This card cannot be targeted by card effects. Oh, shit. Mm hmm Look at me. So I, I, I play Yu-Gi-Oh. I can't read. <laughs> don't don't me. <laughs> I mean, at least it's not the first sentence. Oh, yeah. You're right. <laughs> I mean, I would have went in the battle phase, attacked with uh, Farf, attacked with Sir, then attacked directly with Dante for 25, you know? But I guess, he, I mean, he's pretty much doing the same exact thing. I mean, look at Damn. this. Damn! Look at this, like I said, you just use Dante, mill a whole bunch, fill up your graveyard with Burning Abyss and, and uh, Phantom Knights, and go to town. Just, just it's search. The, it's the power of uh, PK Fire. What do you mean, oh no, no targets? Hello? What do you mean? What do you mean no targets? Like, ha what? Are you not running any of the trap cards? I'm so puzzled. Yeah, you kind of have to show your deck. And also, you don't have a spell of traps? Did you really get rid of the traps for, like, the fucking Hell mastery? No. I'm, if someone explain. Hell no, man. Them traps uh, are all good. Explain. So, attack. Detach, detach, and uh, kill. Oh, yeah. It's a fact. And then, yep, goes back to extra deck, and then those two go back to the deck, shuffle. So, I mean, saucy, I'm kind of hoping that you, uh, 
Are you scooping? Eight? Oh, I would say. Are you just looking for your next card and scooping or something? Yeah, like, just forget to shuffle. That Master Strict is just locking it down right now. How do you not have any targets? I mean, similar with Light Swords, it's hard to side in with, a. Uh, with uh, PK Fire, you're milling so fucking much, you know, you could always mill your side like Light Swords, but... Mm -hmm. Unlike Light Swords, you're just floaty as hell. Well, you gotta deal with the, fl the grab back of Dante, the summon from the deck of Graf, the summon from the deck of, you know, the deck of Spur. Jesus Christ, how horrifying. <laughs> <laughs> wow. The freaking... <laughs> oh my god. Or this guy just screwed. The revival traps, the searchiness of the Phantom Knights, like, it's just, oh my god. So just scoop. Hit this man with the fucking fire lake. It's better to speak Spanish on him. Yeah, what are you trying to learn fucking what you doing, Saucy Dan? Trying to change the language? Like, I don't think so. <laughs> you're speaking English all this time. Now you're like, okay? Okay? <laughs> yep. We are taking it to game three, people. So Master Damn, Strict definitely won that duel. It said it was just a casualty. This happened like to be that you tribute to use your plays in Magic Specters when Monarch is one of the top decks. Oh, he said lucky. Oh, is that what he said? Yeah. Oh, okay. I mean, even if you had a pendulum summon, I still don't understand what you would have done. Yeah, like, you could really, you can search, but, like, what does your searching do? Summoning monsters that really don't matter. You're searching for things that don't matter. You will summon a unicorn, but you can't even use his effect. Like, and you still got to deal with Dante and shit. So, all right, sauce Dan, you are starting it off. This man is salty. Up and up with that uh, powerful luster. Of all the flavors, you chose to be salty. <laughs> well, it's time to set up a massive board of. Monsters and spells and traps. We haven't seen much of the Draco engine as of late. With one luster though, and plus with one face off, it's not really worth it. Mm -hmm. One luster, one face off, and one ignister. Yeah, it's just like you don't go into ignister anymore because, well, you just can't. You, you just only have one, and you don't want to waste it. Mm hmm. I mean, maybe when they had three, they used to just use him with uh, Dynaster and just go into some rank, rank eight XC plays. But now, you know, it's kind of a little bit riskier. I only say if you want to use your Ignister, you better have an unbreakable field. <laughs> or if you're going for game. It's the only time I think you should ever really use your Ignister. Inix. Inix. Oh, God. Words. Ignister! Oh. There you go. <laughs> uh. I've seen a couple of people try to uh, still top with the the engine, the Draco Pals, but I don't think anybody's really topped as of late. I saw Gravekeeper's top. That's yeah, not like some Ohio regional. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> like, I, I never expected Gravekeeper's to top. Hey, hit him with that Necro Valley, though. Uh-huh. Isn't everybody pretty much hurt by Necro Valley in this, uh... In this format, the top yes. decks? Marks, yes. Cosmos, yes. Um, and the other top deck? It's PK Fire. Oh, yeah, PK. Yeah, everyone. Yeah, so I can see it. Damn. This man used his entire fucking hand. Wow. <laughs> He's like, well. Yeah. <laughs> so hit him with the Twin Twister, then hit him with another Twin Twister. All right? Well. Talk a Tom board. Top. Oh, yeah. It's Tear Top. Like I said, look at that play. That play is so strong. Like, pure burning abyss or PK fire. Just three tear tops and two Takatom borks. Definitely. Yep. Which fixes your bad hands. Alright. Seven is okay. No effect. Ooh. Okay. I don't want to. Oh, he already has oh, it. Oh, he already has it. I, I go three two. I don't like three one. I think three one is dumb. Yeah. Like who doesn't like the plus in search? You act like ter you act like a second talk of Tornberg is gonna get in your way. It's a level three. You'll be fine. All right. So no response. Imagine if these have like banished from graveyard effects. And if he goes into Dante, hit him with whatever. Definitely do never never let this deck mill. Like that's how I easily handle this deck at the regionals. I just stopped him from milling. 
Oh, just going to break sword. Yep. Okay. You met but, with that, if, um... but if break sword dies, yep. He doesn't even have any BAs in the graveyard to use to summon back. So break sword wasn't anything much but a two thousand beater. I mean, unless yeah, you he wanted to target just... himself and target a card. Like, okay, I guess. Yeah, I don't understand what was the point in that. Like, you didn't have any Phantom Knights, so... I guess. You didn't have any Phantom Knights. There's no Dante set up, alright. Special Summon Farf. Need to get that milling going. You made that one back row. Don't. Don't let him. Don't let him. <laughs> So I guess that was the kind of bait that was kind of Diamond Dire Wolf bait. Yeah. Either you yeah. hit him with the back row or he's going to pop on your back row. So I guess that was the initial bait. Uh, and, done, yep. Get your ass wolf right quick. Yeah. And don't let him know. Who cares about Lipic? Who cares about, uh... Uh, just... what was it, Farf? He special summoned Farf. Special summoned Lipic, right? Yeah. Alright. This man actually, oh my he god. Like I said, this deck can easily go into like triple Dante. Yeah. Yo. So, uh, Libic, go ahead and special summon. Wait, I thought it was a fiend. Um, so I just summoned a level 3 dark fiend. No, I monster. think he's normal summoning. Then how the hell did it go to defense mode? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I think he was saying summon with Libic, but I'm like, no, Phantom Knights, I know they're warriors, you know? Because I was talking about that, how even if Roto didn't go down to one because of Satellar Knights and stuff, it would have went down to one this format because pretty much uh, two out of the three best decks would run it. Oh, yeah, definitely. Well, that was quick. You know, I feel like getting another one in. So. Ah, nice, nice, nice. Oh, we are back. All right. So we back. We got Saucy Dan again. Still playing them, uh, the Magic Spec. Damn. Oh. <laughs> Hello. All right. We're going to see if we can still get Saucy Dan. We are back. Okay, we back. It's saucy Dan. <laughs> saucy. <laughs> Not Salty Dan. That's a, that's a different thing. So, of course, Saucy Dan at uh, 710 now. Getting that, uh, that, uh, that nice W in the last door. And, and another win because the opponent just quit. <laughs> Couldn't handle it. Carlos Romam... Romancy. Romancy, all right. Uh, at 962. Go ahead and throw that maxi at him. So when he pendulum summons one, that are, you, are you are you going to draw? He, yeah, you well, you have to draw. It's mandatory. Hold damn, on, damn, main deck Necro Valley. Hello, no, damn. damn. This is how saucy damn is doing. He be playing damn. his fucking his uh his magic specter field spell. Hit you with that terraforming and get that Necro Valley. Like god damn. Shit. Whoo, saucy Dan. He 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 is. <laughs> He is putting on the spices. All right, I see you. Ooh, shit, shit, shit. <laughs> I literally just killed it's the best decks. That hurts. That hurts. <laughs> well, it doesn't kill Mar. It, it hurts Mar X a lot, but it doesn't kill it. Cosmos are fucked. <laughs> so he can't use Call of the Haunted anymore. Can his nope. ships float? No, no, I don't think it should be banished. Yeah, cards in either player's graveyard cannot be banished. Period. So, like, you're fucked. <laughs> and any card effect that would uh, move a card in the graveyard other than itself to a different place. So, I, be I believe if they could banish, I believe the Cosmos could still do their effects because any effect that would move a card in the graveyard other than itself. So, it's moving itself. Oh, okay. But, damn. That Necro Valley, though. Like, damn. it's so good. Damn, Daniel. Like, no, like, just Imperial Iron Wall is really good, so just oh, yeah. being able to get it in Necro Valley. I guess the only problem with Necro Valley is that it's blatantly on the field, so it's more obvious. Mm-hmm. King, Chain, yeah. Dark Maul. Return you, return you, response. Oh, wait, you can't banish. <laughs> oh, yeah. Damn. <laughs> Salsa, <Sauce of> damn. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Time to get another search. Yeah, yeah, buddy. Is that some cards? Where's his back row? That's a lot of back row for Cosmos. Exactly. What is this? Like, notice and. Alright, E Tele for that tin can. I would say, but... during the end phase, emergency teleport. Something but... that tin can? I'm confused. What? Like, he won't be able to vanish, but he gets the tin can, but like. I mean, he gets the search. He won't be able to tin can vanish to uh, remove itself, but. He gets a search, I guess. 
How come this tank can look so damn good, though? What do you mean, look so damn good? Like on this um server, it looks really nice. Oh, mm -hmm. looks pretty legitimate. I forgot it's... to uh, change the server, so despite uh, Forever have extended me that new one, I'm still using the old one. Oh, okay. Barely see Dark Eclipse or though. Like, mm -hmm. damn, <laughs> damn, that's dark. All right. So oh, that's nice. Go ahead and get you a a slip, but uh. What does that do for you now? Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, that's Eclipse. Yeah, it's Eclipse. Once Eclipse. And wait a minute. I think Tin Can is stuck there, isn't it? Yeah, I think Tin Can is stuck there. Yep. Never mind. Never Cards mind. cannot be banished. Period. So, Tin Can does not get banished by emergency teleport. Okay, I see you. I mean, you still can't hop out of the way. And you still can't cause Mojo. And you still can't call the Haunted. And you, st I mean, there's so many things that you can't do right now, Carlos. Like the struggles are real. Yeah, I'm very confused how Cosmos can actually, um, like, do so well against it. Unless he gets to like a nice twin twister, I would just scoot. I don't got time for this. I mean, God, right now Necro Valley's even worse than Imperial Iron Wall. I mean, at least under Imperial Iron Wall, you can't banish. Yeah. No. Oh, uh, okay. Cool. Just gonna ignore Necro. All right. You know what? Cool. I wish I could do that. It just says right there, cards... No. Oh, cards in either player's graveyard cannot be banished. I thought it was just cards in bit can't be banished, period. Are bad. Damn. I, uh, good thing I fucking copied that. Yeah, cards in either player's graveyard cannot be banished, so you can't banish to get your uh, search. Man, we can't read today. He could have... I guess he could have still hopped out of the way. Oh yeah, you can still um you know summon Dark Eclipse. Yeah, you could have done that if you wanted to. That would have been pretty powerful. I would have done that. Carlos, you kinda messed up. You should have banished and summoned that Dark Eclipse that he gave you. He definitely wouldn't be able to do shit about it. Mm -mm. I mean he has that Tempest, but just don't activate your monster effect. Just attack. Wait, does does Dark Eclipse even have a monster effect when he's um summoned? No, not when you summon, but the whole banish uh, monster to negate a trap. Doesn't work against the trap to spell speed 3. So. Uh. I mean, the struggle is still real. Oh, yeah. But summoning a nice beater that can't be targeted, that's still pretty power. Eccentric, go ahead and pop. I'm gonna crack your scale just to pop a random set card. Like, I guess. Yeah, I wouldn't have done that. No, it's not worth it. Powerful Cosmojo. Too bad he can't use it. Uh huh. You better hope you top deck a scale. Because if he busts out that Dark Eclipser, it's over. Alright. Seeing uh, Wicked Witch again. Mm -hmm. I mean, he still has that powerful Keaton to go ahead and bounce. Are we going to see Keaton effect again? Go on, go on, one more game. Yeah, you Sorry. probably should. Yeah, Keaton, so play it back in your hand so you can get a search in so that you can actually, you know, you add Target to one type of monster and one monster opponent controls. Return them to the hand. So I believe even if he chains... He still gets to return them to the hand. It doesn't say those monsters are both the monsters, so. Yeah. Right, so. Go ahead and hit that man with the uh, Magic Spectre Tempest. I saw him know this exclusively for the Arctite. Mm -hmm. They're not even exclusive for Arctite, for just one spellcasters in general. Yeah, just one spellcasters. Now go ahead and pay that 100 for Cosmotown, get that back. And like I said, it'd be best if you can go ahead and summon 10 can. Possibly hop out the way? No, you're gonna shuffle him back. Cause right. Carlos. No. Explain. I would have summoned Tin Can. Tried to activate the effect. I mean, if you get hit with another trap card, you get hit with another trap card. Fuck it. You yeah. know, you can get your Tin Can back next uh, turn because still banishing its cost. Summon that Dark Eclipser, and then what does he do against you? Nothing. Like Carlos, I don't like what the plays you're doing. Oh, I guess you already normal summon though. No, yeah, no. Yeah. I still want to shuffle the Tin Can back. <laughs> Carlos, explain. Show me, because I don't understand. 
And Saucy Dan over here showing that Magic Specters can take the top tier. It can beat PK Fire. It can beat Cosmo. Yeah, it just needs nice power of Necro Valley and the fact that they are some really damn good chips. You're not going to normal summon. No, I guess he's done searching. He'd rather Pendulum summon and get hit with that Solemn Strike. I'm so... I mean, at the, this point, the light point cost. Strike? Oh. You actually activate a strike. I mean, if he doesn't lose, play strike, he's gonna lose. But if he plays strike, he's gonna lose. So it's a lose lose situation. Oh, no, well, another one. Yep. So how would you? Uh... Yep, yep. Another solemn notice. Is that game? Probably. You can't. Yeah. You actually can. <laughs> yeah, Necro Valley. What is this? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, get fucked. The power. <laughs> All right. So while they're siding, since we're moving on to uh, game two, I'll go ahead and pause. All right. So game two. Carlos going first. Cosmos, despite, you know, first at first being more of a, it seemed like an FTK deck, definitely a deck that likes to go first, get up and set up plays, tin can, send uh, the monsters, get the monsters, Dark Destroyer, Call of the Haunted, all in good plays. Like, that deck is power. That deck is oh, power. Oh, shuffle I deck. I definitely say it's my favorite out of the three top decks. Really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I don't mind PK Fire, and I hate Monarchs. Understandable, understandable. But I've always hated Monarchs, so... I'm getting an upgrade in a new structure deck doesn't help because uh, I've always hated them even when they were frog monarchs I hated them <laughs> My friend played frog monarchs you destroy me and I'll, I'll be sad Also main deck triple whalers not bad this format either all three decks are pretty susceptible to getting hit with Valor. I definitely side three Valors or main deck mm -hmm. What do you whether you're hitting that tin can whether you're hitting that uh, Terra Top for PK Fire, whether you're hitting that Idea for Monarchs, like, Valor is great this format. <laughs> so. And only get better when Cosmos try to go off with that uh, that Scout and try to go crazy on your ass. <laughs> with Fire King Island. Oh man, that's, that's going to be some fuckery right there. Mm-hmm. Just says destroyed. It doesn't say. Just keeps getting the eclipser. Yeah, yeah. Because it doesn't say you know this card is destroyed on the field. It just says destroyed. Period. So. Yep. Destroy a dark eclipser. Get a surge. Destroy one of the other ships. Get a summon. Like it's all good. I would definitely pop one of those back rows. Like you just, yeah, exactly. You just don't know. I could easily be a notice right there. Alright. So, Centric, go ahead and tribute, pop that card. Ah, oh, and it was called Haunted. <laughs> See? That's like the classic play now. Like I said, I, when I did the deck, I was like, it's so fucking classic. Why don't I just do Oasis too? Fuck it. <laughs> uh huh. I wish I got half the revival that I got, uh, that I wanted to get in that tournament, man. Oh well. I tried um, your Cosmo Gideon deck online. I just never got revival. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, I would never get revival. It's like, I'm running six revival cards, never get them. It's like, what the fuck? Yeah, get, I see. Damn, get hit with that MSC, boy. That, that's rare to see. Yep. Get hit with that MST. Oh, my God. Really? You're going to chain it? To just destroy your co own Cosmo Town. All right. Yeah, I mean, if that's what you want to do. I get, yeah, this, 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 this works. Are you going to search for your Cosmo Town, or are you just going to let it die? No, I'm assuming he's going to get a search of his Cosmo Town. Yeah. Oh, okay. The powerful Cosmo Town. What you searching? Yeah. Another Cosmo Town? Oh, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah. Make sure that you spot pop any pendulum skills being set. Oh, spot pop that immediately. That Necro Valley, though. Set, set, and then 
Saucy Dan looks like he's kind of struggling here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yep, the revival of fucking back row decks. Card of Demise. Such a damn good card. Such a damn good card for back row base decks. Like that in itself, that'd be a reason why you'd like to play Magic Specters. Yep. And we see the summon of Luster. Just gonna go ahead and declare an attack. Of course, always attack that tin can. Like, never leave that tin can there. Tin Is can. Hop out the way. Of course, hop out of the way. Which is fine. Clip, sir. Or probably, um. Uh, slip. Slip. Yeah, slip. Yep. Probably pops to uh, either back row or Necro Valley. I'd say Necro Valley. Yeah, Necro, Necro Valley puts in too much work. Yep. Yeah. Necro Valley. <laughs> I mean, he drew into three fucking cards. That's fucking power. Like, <laughs> the, the card of demise is literally re the rejuvenation of backer decks. Oh my god, that's so unfortunate. During the end phase, we're gonna see the banish and summon of Dark Eclipser. Now he has some negates on his hand against the traps. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, counter traps. Yeah, which I mean, you'll probably be facing with Solemn Strike and. Warning and Tempest, so. South Sudan didn't open up too good. No, he really didn't. This is the problem with running just, uh, just pure Magic Specters. Especially when facing down the Dark Eclipser. Like, I don't know what your set cards are. They bluff, so they actually traps. Like, what's up? You got three cards deeper into your deck, and you're still in deep shit, Saucy Dan. Yeah. Yep. Is that game? It, it depends on if he gets uh, uh Carlos gets off these attacks. That would definitely be game. Please have the Rippling Mirror Force. Uh, I don't think that's TCG legal yet. It's not. No, it's not out yet. Darn. So I'm definitely playing that as soon as that's like. Even oh my! Even though its name isn't Rippling Mirror Force anymore. What is it? Drowning Mirror Force. What the. F Okay, whatever. All right, cool. Oh shit, they can't banish. True, you can't. You can't banish to negate. Cards you can't the... banish Necro Valley. Oh my god, Cards you can't. Valley cannot be banished. Damn, damn, oh, no. oh, oh, damn, get oh. wrecked, boy. Put that get in grave, your dog. Ass whoop. <laughs> get oh. in with that mirror force. And no floating. Oh, gee. Damn. Ouch. Oh, gee. Ouch. Damn. <laughs> oh, it hurts. <laughs> oh, my God. Damn. Saucy Dan. <laughs> it's a fucking pain. Oh. Well. Damn. He's kind of back in his door now. Mm -hmm. Damn. Saucy Dan. Shit. Uh, Saucy Dan, can I get a deckless? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I would like to see, yep. And that uh, little Stratos right there is going to help him get back into the game. Mm-hmm. Carlos, I'm just not sure. Damn, Carlos. Is that, all like that? is that all you had, Carlos? And like that, Saucy Dan's back at it again. <laughs> I think um I think I know who won this though. Uh, it was definitely won by Necro Valley. Yeah, yeah. Power of Necro Valley. I mean, he's running terraforming and his much structure field spell. Why not? He's not affected by Necro Valley. He Necro Valley's power of this format. And of course, he has the skill. What does that do for you right now? Like, I get Chain Max C, but like, this might be over. Mm-hmm. Damn, he said no. Oh. Tempest, bitch. Oh. Ah. No. I just... No, now where was I? Oh, yeah, I'm going to pendulum some of the shit that I just tributed. <laughs> Why does he have to? <laughs> he changed another one. He can do that? Yeah. Wait. I don't think he can do that. Oh, you can only use one. Yeah, yeah, you can only use one. Yeah. And even if he could only use one, even if he could use multiples, I don't think it's open enough game state to do that. Because he sets up his pendulum scale, right? Yeah. He goes chain max C on activation of pendulum scale. He chains Tempest. That's spell speed three. You can't chain max C to Tempest. 
Uh, so, yeah. the chain resolves, Tempest negates Max C, Pendulum Summon 3. So. <laughs> damn. Alright, Dan. I see you, Dan. <laughs> That's my man, Dan. <laughs> All right, people. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this Dando commentary. Da Saucy Dan over here with the Magic Specters, boys. He's showing. Fuck your tier one shit. I got the answers right here. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, thank you, Mal, for joining me. No problem. This is fucking great. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And uh, see you guys on Thursday with some more Dando commentary.